Explorer. I hope you're having a great day. In today's uh, Building Nested Lab sessions, we're working on part four, which is setting up of those domain services for our Windows uh, 2022 server. Uh, pretty soon we'll be doing part five, which is installation of the uh, VCSA right into ESXi hosts and the uh, ladder, all the, all the others here coming up in this nine part series. Uh, part four agenda today, we're gonna install Windows 2022 server. We're gonna set up its networking. Then we're gonna set up a bunch of services, Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, NTP, and RAS. Wow, that's a lot. It's gonna take some time. I'll try and make this as painless as possible, uh, make it as short as possible. But there's just simply a lot to do today. And then finally, uh, time permitting, we'll make a copy of that VM so we can have a nice backup. All right, so overall series goals, we've completed our installation of uh, Windows uh, 7, or excuse me, Windows <laughs> 11, and we've also set up Workstation 17. We've also done all our networking and got it all private and operational, but once again, our focus here today is setting up that uh, Windows server and its domain services. Okay, so this is the VM we're talking about today, right here, uh, this guy, this AD222. And uh, it's the one we're going to be focusing on, right? So that's why I say in part one, it's always great to have a plan. Have a plan first, right? Get your networking figured out. If you haven't done this part, you're going to want to go back because it's going to get more and more involved as we move forward. So get this guy ready to go. Get your plan figured out, right? Let's take a look at the uh, little bit more of the details when we set up the workstation VM. So we're going to be setting this up with 8 gigs of RAM, 2 CPUs, and 60 gig hard disk. And then also you might notice that, hey, there's two networking here, right? We set up VMnet 10 in the last one, but we didn't set up the RAS network yet. And that's okay. Well, I did that specifically because what we want to do is we want to establish... Uh, this VM first with Active Directory. And then as we get into the RAS pieces, we'll add in this next networking piece and allow it to communicate out. But for now, we just want to get it up and running as a domain controller. We'll add its additional networking for RAS later. We'll do it today, but we'll just do it later uh, in the series. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and get started and uh, roll that footage. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things I did was I made a quick shortcut to uh, this program called ncpa.cpl. Uh, creating that shortcut on the desktop allows me to bring up my uh, network connections and control panel really quick. That comes in handy when you're having to uh, get in here and make edits and changes to the uh, OS layer networking, right? So you want to come in here, you want to change the IP address or work on things. For example, the AD network, which is that other side of the uh, Windows server, we'll be needing it for that. So just a quick little tip. It helps me out all the time because I go in there from time to time and I'm doing adjustments and that makes it quick and easy for me. I also put all of our uh, a shortcut to all our installation files, allowing us easy access to those files as well. Next, let's get into uh, Workstation and take a quick look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and say About Workstation. You can see I'm running uh, Build 1702 and there's the final build that I'm running for uh, today. I highly recommend you do auto updates and keep it up to date simply by going to software updates and updating the product. So let's get started with uh, building our VM. So we're gonna to wanna to go up to file, new virtual machine, next. Okay, this is where we choose our image file, right? And if you remember, we put those on the desktop. Microsoft installs and choose the ISO for Windows 2022 standard, okay? So it detected it, which is great, okay? I don't have a key for it. <clears throat> We're gonna put this in as uh, standard is fine. We don't need data center, right? Just standard install. You can put in a password here if you like. It's totally optional. <clears throat> okay. That's fine. We're gonna install without a key. We'll activate later. Now, this is the important part. If you recall, we created all of those extra folders for our system. So very important step here to make sure that we hit the right folder that we want to. So we're gonna go into PC, right? The ADVM hard disk and AD222 folder. We wanna make sure it goes in there, okay? We also wanna call this our name. Sixty is fine. I like to store it as a single file, 
versus multiple. There's nothing I need to do to customize it at this point. Click on finish. It'll finalize that install, actually boot to the ISO and get things going for us. So I'll be pausing the video intermittently to save some time as we go through this and you might see it jump a little bit. Okay, so you can see it's starting to copy the files and get ready to go. One thing we're gonna do while it's going here, and we can do this live, no big deal, is we're gonna move its network. So right now the network adapter is set to NAT. And if you remember, we want this on VMNet 10, host only. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that while it's going through its installation. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let it uh, finalize and uh, we'll take the next step from there. All right, the VM has uh, completed its uh, initial install and uh, VMware Tools has launched, which is great. We wanna make sure VMware Tools is installed first. If yours didn't auto launch, make sure that you install it and you can simply do that by right clicking on the actual VM, uh, going down, 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 down to manage, right? And there should be a uh, VMware uh, install tools if they have, oh, there it is, reinstall tools, right? <laughs> Sorry, it was right where I was looking for it. <laughs> so uh, it's actually knows that it's installed, right? So, uh, or is in process of installing. If it isn't, it should say install VMware tools right here and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart uh, this VM and then we'll get back at it. Okay, so the VM has uh, rebooted and now what we need to do before we do anything else, right? First, let's make sure Tools is installed. Okay, we're good there. Next, we're gonna wanna go into uh, networking and set up the IP address uh, for this particular uh, device. So let's go to change adapter options, right? Properties. No gateway, no DNS at this point. Just need to get its IP address established. Okay, I like to rename mine to the 10.0.10.222. So I know what that network adapter is for. Okay, makes it easy. Okay, now with the uh, network adapter established, we need to establish the name of the actual uh, VM. To do this, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go down here to the search bar, type in about, and about your PC will come up. From there, you can click on rename this PC, right? And we wanna call this AD222. Okay, the PC is gonna restart and we'll pick it back up. Okay, one thing I like to do is just a couple quick checks. I'm gonna to go to command prompt, right? Just gonna type in IP config, make sure my IP address is right. Uh, who am I? Okay, so I should probably lo start logging in as administrator and change that, okay? And then lastly, host name. Is my host name correct? It is. So the only thing I should probably do is uh, start logging in as administrator and get that set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, to uh, switch from this view here, right? I'm gonna go over into my server manager go to tools and down to uh, computer management because I want to establish the local administrator uh, username and password. Okay, here into users, there's administrator. Let's set its password. Okay, password has been set. Now we'll just go ahead and log back in as administrator. Now, one thing you might find is trying to hit Control Alt Insert to make Control Alt Delete work doesn't always work. So I like using the three buttons up here. It makes it easy to log in. Let's switch to the administrator account, which we'll be using going forward for this. All right, one last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this screen big so we can actually see it all, right? There it is, nice and large and nice and clear. 
All right, so now we should be uh, ready to go to add our roles. Uh, server manager is going to be your friend, right? Uh, I use it uh, quite a bit because it'll tell me the status of services and things that are going on uh, around my network or around my actual server. In this case, we just have the one, so it's no big deal. So configure local server. Let's add roles and features. Okay, role-based. This server, which we want to work with. Now, which role do you want to set in? We want to set up Active Directory. Okay, so let's click on Active Directory. Now it's telling me, hey, there's additional roles and things that are needed. Add these features. Okay, and then eventually it will come back around and add the features that it needs as we go through. Right now, we don't want to bite off too much by doing other extra services. Let's just focus on Active Directory domain services at this time. No additional features. Advertisement for Azure. <laughs> and restart it as needed. Yep. Install. All right. This process is going to take a while. Uh, as it goes through, if there's anything important that pops up, I'll let you know. Else it should reboot and we should have uh, Active Directory established. All right. So it's showing that installation has succeeded. Let's hit close. Let's give it a chance to... Uh, update the information. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go into AD DNS right here, okay? And as you can see, configuration required for Active Directory services at AD222. Let's click on more. Okay, post deployment configuration not started. So let's promote this server to a domain controller. Okay, add a domain controller to an existing domain. Nope, we're gonna make a new force. We are simply just gonna call this nested dot local very simple click on next okay functionality level put in your password okay click next Uh, this area has come up complaining about DNS. No worries. We've seen this before. Simply click next. Okay. Don't worry about the NetBIOS name. It should auto populate here. Okay. Different file folders. No big deal. Review options. Prerequisite check. Okay. So these are the same prerequisites essentially that they had. Uh, listed out before uh, pretty much for any research I've done it's always come back saying uh, standard issue errors uh, click on install all right uh, it's all finished up and it's going to restart okay so here's the actual restart of the system you get a good look at it just kind of see how uh, how it operates after the installation has been uh, completed. All right, so we went ahead and logged in and the server manager comes up. And as you can see, Active Directory and DNS are complete. But hey, look, there's DNS. It auto installed it for us. Remember that error that was coming up uh, talking about uh, DNS root, blah, 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 whatever it was. Uh, that's because DNS wasn't installed yet. So it couldn't, it was conflicted. But Active Directory during the installation and promotion of it figured it out and added in the DNS uh, part. So let's go into DNS. So just type in DNS. Now I'm just going to pin this guy uh, to the taskbar, make it easy for me to get to. And hey, look, there's our DNS server. And if we go into nested.local, there's our machine. So DNS is taken care of now. <laughs> hey, this uh, video is running a lot longer than I thought. I'm going to divide this up into two parts, 4A and 4B. Uh, in part A, which you just saw, we finished up the installation of Windows Server 2022, set up some networking, and completed the install of AD and DNS. In part B, which you'll see that I recorded earlier, uh, is going to cover the DHCP, uh, NTP, and RAS. So for today, we're going to wind this video up. Join me back in uh, 4B, and we'll talk to you in a bit. Take care, everyone, and do hit that subscribe button.